नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे इज डे बी 16th जुलाई 2020 डे थर्सडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्सरसाइज ऑफ पोएम द ब्लाइंड मैन एंड द एलिफेंट इन दिस पोएम वी वांट टू नो दैट व्हेन वी हैव सम काइंड ऑफ क्यूरियोसिटी अबाउट द थिंग वी हैव टू लिसन ऑल द पीपल वी हैव टू एक्सेप्ट द आइडिया ऑफ आवर फ्रेंड्स there only we will get the complete information about something right in this poem we learn that knowledge is very vast okay and if we want to gain knowledge we have to accept the facts regarding it we can't stay or we can't stuck with our own opinion we have to accept the new methods the new techniques as well as the ideas experiences of other persons to get more information about something right today as you know in this poem six men six men tried a lot to get the overall information about the elephant and how they uh, described the elephant based on based on their own experience right but they didn't heard others view reviews and at the end they were not satisfied with their invention search of information and when if they seek together and discuss about the thing then only they can get the better solution or the complete picture of an elephant otherwise first man is saying it's just like a wall another man is saying it is like a snake someone is saying it is like a sphere but in actual elephant is different than their experience right and if i think if they say sat together and they they discuss then it will be clear for everyone what is right and what is wrong so let's see the exercise part of this poem question 1 write true or false for the following question 1 you have to solve this question in textbook itself there is no need to write this question in notebook as we are having place For writing answers, right? Page number ninety-six. Page ninety-six. Okay. Question one. Write true or false for the following. A. The elephants me made a map think it was like a wall. False. A. False. B. the third man failed 
Now let's see enrichment. We use a dictionary to learn the meaning of a new word. But how do we use a dictionary? Let's find out. The words in a dictionary are called entry words. The entries are arranged in alphabetical order. At the top of a page are two guide words. They tell us about the first and last entry of a page. We use them to find the page with the word we are looking for. Guide words 
closet and clubhouse first entry closet first a noun a wardrobe or a cupboard second a small room okay now let's see closer noun one here is the description the closing of something a word can have more than one meaning the numbers are used to list different meanings of a word here we have the one and two number means these two numbers are the meanings of okay it depends on the situation which meaning we have to consider now see second a device that closes now clot noun a roundish lump a foolish person right here are the nouns with their two meanings now let's see clout noun influence or power work to hit someone clone noun one a silly person second a performer who does silly things to make people laugh now clubhouse noun a place where members of a group can eat and relax now last entry so here is the description how we can find the words and their meanings in the dictionary these tell us the function of the word it can be a noun verb adjective etc if you are looking for the word clone you would be looking in the c section look at the tops of the pages until you come out the page with the guide words closet and clubhouse this tells you that all the words between closet and clubhouse are on this page since clone st starts with clo it will be in the next in this section okay look up these words in a dictionary and complete the information about them so you have to complete this as activity task for you all right now let's see how you can solve the exercise and all these thing at home question a write true or false for the following in your textbook page number 96 then you have to write heading unit 6 myths and legends poem the blind man and the elephant then word meaning of the poem then after question 2 question 3 and question 4 in your notebook literature part then enrich it enrichment activity i hope that all of you have dictionaries at your home if you don't have you can just borrow it from your friend then read these instructions one more time then find the words annoyed dread and grumpy then you can write here only by using pencil all the meaning means guide words meaning function part of speech the number of meanings okay you have to write just the number of meanings here write number 2 3 whatever okay then dread you have to do same with dread also and grumpy also i hope this activity you will find interesting to know more about the dictionary all right and today we have completed the syllabus of term 1 okay tomorrow onwards we will start our worksheet thank you